what, what would you do if, uh, if your life were in danger like Paul? And somebody, okay, give me your defense. Would you get around to Jesus? What if this increasing cultural hostility to Christianity is a divine opportunity for us to bear witness to Christ? When someone shoves a microphone in your face as a Christian athlete, a Christian administrator, a Christian politician, a Christian teacher, a Christian lobbyist, a Christian mom, and they ask you some question probably about some hot topic of the day, would you be willing to defend not just yourself but the faith and speak of Christ? That'll... That'll confuse them. So, would you be comfortable having the first gay athlete on your football team? Well, let me back up there. Let me tell you what I believe about Jesus. Let me tell you what He's done for me. And you know what? Uh, we, do have, uh, we do have sinners on this team. I'm, I'm, I'm chief, and that's why I need a Savior. Would you speak of Christ? when given the opportunity. See, we're all quick to say, ah, I'm so tired of this fighting. I'm tired of a culture war. I'm tired of the controversy. Let's just get on with evangelism. What is Paul's defense if not evangelism? Perhaps that's the answer to, to Jason's prayer from earlier, to give you these opportunities to speak of Christ. When, when your, your neighbor is just, can you believe that? Can you believe that they were going to pass this bill or they were going to do this? Maybe you have an opportunity to speak of Christ, not defend a, a party or de defend yourself, but bear witness to Christ. More than ever, we must be ready for someone to ask us for a reason, that the, for the hope that we have, even if our hope looks to them like hate. Are you ready to answer? Are you ready to give a defense? Are you ready to speak of Christ?